Hello again, let's just go ahead and jump right into this question where we want to determine the number of solutions that exist to the equation below. And we have an equation with some stuff going on on both sides of the equal sign. Now before we try to solve this equation, let's ask ourselves what kind of solutions exist for a linear equation. Okay, what kind of solutions can I get? What will my solution look like or what could it look like? And we should be familiar with the fact that a linear equation can have one solution, no solutions, or infinitely many solutions. So we will keep these possibilities in mind as we go forward and now attempt to solve the equation. So we like to start out by forming a visual barrier between the left side of the equal sign and the right side. Now if we start on the left side, we're going to distribute that 4 outside of the parentheses, 4 times m equals 4m, and then 4 times a negative 4 is equal to negative 16. Over on the right side of the equal sign, we're going to do the same thing by distributing that 2. 2 times 2m is equal to 4m, and 2 times a negative 8 is equal to negative 16. So what did you notice about the results of distributing? Since both of the equations are actually the same, that is the left side and right side of the equal sign, this is going to have a big impact on our solution. So let's go back and continue to solve this equation. If we add 16 to both sides, it will cancel out the 16 on both sides. And now we're left with 4m equals 4m. So all we have to do is divide both sides by 4, and that will cancel out the 4s. And our result is that m is equal to m. It's equal to itself. Now, when a variable is equal to itself, that means that m could be any value. So, for instance, if I replaced m with 90, again, I'm just picking any random number, any number will work. If I solve the left side in parentheses, 90 minus 4 equals 86, and 4 times 86 is equal to 344. On the right side in parentheses, 2 times 90 minus 8 is equal to 172. And 2 times 172, again, is equal to 344. You can try this for any possible value, and you'll get the same value on the left side as you do on the right side. So our answer is that this equation has an infinite number of solutions since any value will work for m.